In this video, we will learn how to find the short run equilibrium under perfect competition and how to find the short run supply curve of each firm, the market supply, and how to determine short run market equilibrium price and output. The question is a perfectly competitive bolt making industry consists of 20 producers all having identical short run cost function that is c is equal to 10 plus q square where q is the output of each firm market demand for bolts is being given as says qd is equal to 110 minus p we have to find out the short run supply curve of each firm first thing also we have to find out the short run market supply curve and we have to find out the short run equilibrium price and you know quantity so what we are being given we are being given the cost function of each firm is being given as a c is equal to 10 plus q square now to find the short run supply of each curve, sorry, each firm, let us draw it here and let us see what exactly does this mean. Let us say output of each firm is denoted on horizontal axis, and on this side we have the average variable cost, marginal cost. Okay. Let us say this is our average variable cost function, ABC. Okay. Let us say this is our marginal cost function or marginal cost curve here now the supply curve of each firm in short run will be the portion of the marginal cost curve which is above the average variable cost function okay first thing is that marginal cost curve should intersect the average variable cost function at its minimum and the portion of mc which is above the abc will be our short run supply curve of each firm so first thing is we need to find out the average variable cost since c is equal to 10 plus q this 10 is our fixed cost which does not depend on upon the level of output q square is our variable cost so our variable cost is simply equal to or average variable cost will be equal to variable cost upon output of each firm variable cost is q square upon q which gives us q as the average variable cost okay second thing is we need to find out the marginal cost marginal cost is simply the derivative of cost function with respect to output so taking derivative of this function with respect to q derivative of constant is zero derivative of q square will be 2q okay and uh, to find the short run cost curve let us draw it here also what does this mean okay we have uh, output of each firm on side on horizontal side we have abc and mc on this side so abc is equal to q it is a straight line so let us draw it as abc Our marginal cost is 2q it is slope is twice the slope of abc so let us denote it with this color so this is our mc okay now when marginal cost is equal to average cost so at this point okay here if we have q star okay this portion is above the marginal cost curve here q let us see here uh, when we equate a b c with m c which implies uh, a b c is q marginal cost is 2q equating so 2q minus q is equal to 0 which implies q is equal to 0 okay so marginal cost intersect is average variable cost at this point when output is equal to zero okay so thus for any output when output is equal to zero marginal cost is average cost so for any 
uh, you know positive output that means for any let me write it here for any q greater than zero okay and here we can see marginal cost is above above the average variable cost curve that means the short run supply curve is this entire marginal cost curve okay and we know that since uh, we also take price on this side so we have p here this will be our you know price that means price will be equal to marginal cost or p is equal to what is marginal cost that is 2q which implies q is equal to p upon 2 so q is equal to p upon 2 will be the short run supply curve of each firm okay now to find the short run market supply curve this is the short run supply of each curve and each each uh, sorry short short run supply curve of each firm each firm has same cost identical cost and we have 20 firms that means our market uh, supply curve will be the summation of all 20 firms short run supply curve that means qs let us denote it by this denotes the market supply will be equal to the summation of uh, you know 20 firms and each firm has the you know cost function is p upon 2 let us write it here p upon 2 which is equal to 10p okay so 10p will be the short run market supply function okay q is equal to 10p will be our market supply function now to find out the short run equilibrium price and quantity so to find the short run equilibrium price and quantity we equate quantity demanded with quantity supplied quantity demanded is 110 minus p and quantity supplied is equal to you know qs is equal to 10p solving this this is 11p will be equal to 110 and p will be equal to 10 if i transpose it will get divided so equilibrium price will be 10 and let's draw the graph of this also here okay so we have quantity price on this side our supply function is 10p qs is equal to 10p this is supply function our demand function is 110 minus p let us denote it by this okay so equilibrium occurs where demand is equal to supply so when p is equal to 10 equilibrium price is 10 and what is the equilibrium quantity so q will be equal to just plug q p is equal to 10 into this function so we have 110 minus 10 which gives us 100 okay so market equilibrium uh, quantity will be 100 units okay so uh, the short run equilibrium will occur where demand curve intersect supply curve demand market demand curve intersect market supply curve and we know this supply curve is the summation of this 20 firms short run supply curve i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you